How do you know he's not Muslim? He, he's Indian, right? Yeah. Viv, Vivek Ramaswamy. Vivek, Vivek Ramaswamy. Vivek. Trump. Pence. How dare Pence run against Trump? That He's just a bitch. <laughs> he kind of is. I don't like him because he chose to be his VP, right? And then as soon as things got tough, he bitched out. He's like, oh, yeah, Trump was wrong. <laughs> I don't get I was, I was He so, bitched out. He did. Trump Trump took it easy on him though in his interview with Tucker Carlson. Did yeah. you see that? He said I he he was very political. He said, I think he got bad advice. <laughs> <laughs> I think Pence got bad advice. I was like, Yeah, he did. How could he possibly think we would vote for him? How could Pence be that delusional? After he sh- he had a better chance if he went to throw Trump under the bus. He wouldn't have had a chance at all, in my opinion. But even if Trump he had a better chance if not throwing his own the guy he decided to work with, Listen. and then when things got tough, he got scared, and he tucked his tail and ran away, right? I don't really know. You he, probably know that was. more than I do. I but, didn't keep up with Well, no, but he threw Trump under the bus when it was time to, like, he could have he could have backed up Trump, and, like, during the riot stuff, he's saying Trump was wrong and all this. Like, he threw, he threw his man under the bus, man. He's supposed to be his dog. <laughs> yeah, he's a traitor to his country. <laughs> He's a traitor. He got to, scared. Now Trump's. You saw Trump's mugshot. Yeah, he's he's capitalizing <laughs> on that. Dog. He's making under, shirts and everything. I don't right. understand. Well, the Hodge twins are making shirts. He is too. Is he? Yeah. I don't understand what's happening. Does he serve jail time? Is Trump well, he, going to jail? That's not possible. He is posted it? bail right away, but he can if they find him guilty. He's supposed to go to court. All they did is take him. They Trump. They trumped up some charges. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I got to give you something for that. <sighs> right? Give him some applause. <laughs> Trumped up some charges. <laughs> they got, but he, he posted bail right away. That's why he had the mug shot because they were going to, they put him in jail, but he's posted bail right away. But the whole point was, right, to put him on screen, try to make him look bad. That's why they did it. They knew he'd post bail right away. They just wanted to make him look bad. They wanted, they, and I think it. I think it faltered. I think it went the opposite of what they thought it would. Who is they? Well, Democrats. The Democratic <laughs> Party put yeah, Trump in jail, basically. Well, I'm, well it, Georgia did. The state of Georgia did, right? Yeah, the state decided. Is the state of Georgia red or blue? Why do you tighten this up anyway? Yeah, it's that black knob right there. Yeah, it's yeah. Nice. Tighten it up. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 Wait, did you get it? I don't know. It's good. No, you got to tighten it up against the righty, righty, tighty, lefty, loosey applies, brah, with the black one. It's not even moving. The gray one's moving. Oh, well, get the gray one up against it and then tighten the black one up on the gray one. It's not moving. You'll figure it out. (laughs) What the hell were we talking about? Anyways, the, the, them Georgia's. Yeah. What's Georgia, red or blue? Who are you voting for? Enough. Enough of this shit. We're dancing around the subject here. <laughs> We're here to get catch Ski. Ski's live on BTG Squad. Well, who would I vote for right now? You're a white rhino. Do, oh. you, do you know what a white rhino is? No. I really don't either. I'm kind of throwing that <laughs> term around without knowing what the hell it is. I, I mean, rhinos it. are kind of cool. <laughs> They're endangered. Yeah, people do hunt them for their time. <laughs> <laughs> they, I mean, they look cool, I guess. Yeah. Kind of. But they're kind of yeah. fat and lazy, too, right? But they're mean. So I don't know. Anyways, who would I vote for right now? Yeah, in the let's see. Whoa, Just, whoa, 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 wait. Let's look up who's running. People are gonna hate right? me probably. I already hate you. No, you don't. You like the guy too. Who? You just wouldn't vote for him. I wouldn't vote oh. If yeah. Trump if Trump was thrown in jail and he couldn't run, would you vote for him? Uh wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are we talking about here? Who are the twenty twenty four presidential elected candidates? continue f you new york times all right joe biden's in there as far as besides <laughs> trump he's the next best all right forget these people right yeah okay you're so, talking about ramaswamy yeah vivek what Dude. is encouraging you to choose the indian among us because he's not an old politician in office i stand for america <laughs> he does he says he does I, he's relying heavily on Trump's fan base to pump him up. Kind of, enough. but he is Republican and he believes the same stuff. So what do you? Yeah, he's trying to roll with it. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not going to make this a racist. Difference. You watch this. I mean, in his interview, right, he talks about he wants to dismantle the FBI. He wants to dismantle all these government agencies that are overrun by too many people. Too many. Too many. 
Too many bosses, right? Well, he's right. He's that. right. Goddamn thing he says, though. But he tells you his plan, how he's going to do it, right? Most politicians will only say what they're going to do, but they'll never tell you how they're going to do it, right? They always say what they want to do. At least he's giving you a plan. At least he's telling you how he's going to do it if he does it. Like, yeah, that's more already than any other politician has ever said. Trump also said he was going to drain the swamp. And he told us how. Okay. And the swamp is so full right now. But he said how, he said there's things Trump did wrong that he would change, right? Vivek. You watched the interview too. Oh, yeah. If you guys are wondering what we're talking about, it's the Vivek Ramaswamy interview with Sean Ryan on the Sean Ryan show. It's his latest podcast episode he put up. Go look it up. I do like that he's an outsider. I like that he's younger. Because obviously you can keep putting all these old people in and shoving them in there, but they're going to keep doing the same crap they've been doing. Obviously the same crap isn't working, right? Do you trust Vivek? Do you think he's almost too... I love him. Mm-hmm. And it was all scares, about change when they voted in Obama. Oh, but hold up, skis. Right? Hold up. Wait a minute. Right? Let me put <laughs> just a little bit of kush up in it. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what did you say about Obama? Everybody's for him when he talked about True. change, and okay. they voted him in. Here's, so why not give a Republican saying basically the same thing a chance? Yeah, this kind of scares me, though, how well he is at speaking and how— You said you wanted a guy that was good at speaking. <laughs> Damn. We can go back into our Damn. interviews and look at Damn. It. our talks, right? You right. wanted a good speaker, right? You're right. <laughs> I just feel like we're being trapped. Every election that comes up now, I feel like I'm being tricked and I need to look beyond somehow. But it's you're right. He's not really anybody. He's just the figurehead of... He's just the person they put up there to talk. He's not really... I mean, he says he can dismantle the FBI, which is weird. I don't see how that's possible. <laughs> I have a because. feeling with the president gets in office, and he's like, FBI is done. I'm like... That's probably not going to work that way, is it? But he says there's how he explains it, right? There, as an because he's part of the executive branch. There's things he can do as a president with executive orders that they can't tell him he can't do. Like there's nobody to tell him. Like that's his job. Like he can go and like redact things out of like things. Like he said during LG LBJ's like thing as president. There's things he can cross off like laws he made to change it. Like, because that's what the president, there's certain things presidents can do. So he's going to attack that in his first year, right? Like, mm. everything he can do without anybody's permission is what he's going to go for first. Then, he says, the second year is when he'll try to change laws, because laws take time. He knows how Capitol Hill and all that works, and it's going right, to take time. Right. But I like him because he's younger, man. He seems, he looks like he has a drive. He's a business guy. He's got energy. He's got $950 million. He ain't going to die tomorrow like the president we have now. Well, he might. <laughs> I mean, it's possible, but you know what I mean. He could die of mysterious, <laughs> yeah, some mysterious case. But he's got a better chance of surviving, I'd say. I don't know. Make sure your headphones are not making the mic squeal. Hang in there like that. I, yeah, I just I'm don't good. know. Sometimes they make noise. <laughs> but um, <sighs> do we really want the FBI dismantle what about our national security he's already gonna Wouldn't we be weak then he says he's gonna push it on to other groups in the government that are still good kind of like elon musk taking twitter and consolidating it down to like a thousand employees from whatever the hell it was well there's too many how do you say jefes right jefes too many bosses too yeah. many bosses man for all you people who don't speak spanish skis just <laughs> Through some knowledge on you. <laughs> <laughs> Too many bosses, not enough. He said there are people just making their job, and it's actually making the country worse because they're finding things to do because they don't have things to do, which actually make things worse because they're bored, right? So they're doing things they don't even need to do. Where's my gavel? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> this ain't a professional show. Where's the damn gavel? Why? Because I'm talking. Ah, come on. <laughs> You're going to gavel me now? Mm. Who are you voting for? Answer the question, skis. Answer the damn question. I can't answer that right now. That's like a year away. Are you leaning? Things can change. Are you leaning in a vividly direction? I'm I'm saying if something happens to Trump, he's definitely my number one choice as of What moment. about this woman that's this Nick? It's not even DeSantis anymore. Oh god, I was gonna ask you about that. What happened? He's he's to falling DeSantis? off, dude. 
Dude, and they all attacked Vivek, right? I saw uh, it. Why? Because they're threatened by him, dude. All these old, they're, they're threatened. That's why they all went after him. Because they don't you want know, him catching steam, catching a headwind, man. But they did it. They gave him, like, they shined the beautiful light on him by attacking him. If they would have mm-hmm. just ignored him. See, nobody seems to understand I that. think he's going to rise up a little more yet. He is. And nobody seems to understand that. And I want to remember this in my own personal life. When someone is attacking me, <laughs> I need to understand that that's a beautiful moment for me to rise up and shine because <laughs> they're putting a spotlight on me. Not like people are going around attacking me, but like let's say you get in some kind of altercation somewhere and people are yelling at you and stuff. That's a great moment for you to look like a freaking hero <laughs> because it happens all the time. They did the same thing to Trump. Everybody, all these old people attacked him and this and that, and he just looked like a hero. They attacked Andrew Tate. He looks like a superhero now. They attack yeah. Tucker Carlson. They attack freaking who? Everybody. They're attacking these people. And the people that everyone is attacking, they just turn them into these great. Want, yeah, yeah, you're like. Don't want to say idol, right? <laughs> not idol, but they, they kind of. Someone said put they turned Trump. Someone said they turned Trump into a martyr. Yeah, put him on a pedestal. I think it was incredibly smart of Trump to not go to that debate. You know why he didn't go? He wanted to feel out all the contestants. He probably went back and watched it, and he's like, okay, now I know how I need to approach this. That was the smartest thing he could have done. Because not only did he get his first debate with Tucker Carlson, uninterrupted, no time limit really. He was just able to talk plainly, say whatever the hell he wanted to say. But now he can also, because he's probably going to attend some of the next ones, he can also now go and watch. And he knows who his main opponents really are. Like... (laughs) No one's voting for Pence. Definitely, you know what he has to be smart about, though? Because, I mean, these other Republicans are running against him, too, right? Correct? To get... I guess, yeah. Vivek smart, man. <laughs> you got to give him that. He's I smart. He, I'm nervous about yeah. Vivek having... Uh, I think he's a little bit more intellectual, I do, than Trump. How dare you? Trump's a smart man, but I think he's a little bit smarter. I feel like if Trump... And Vivek, ugh, Vivek, what the hell is that? <laughs> I feel like if Trump and Vivek Ramaswamy are running, like if they're in a debate against each other, damn, dude, I you almost have to vote for Trump, or else you're a traitor to this country. <laughs> you know, I feel like they've done so much. They have, they've persecuted Trump so much. I feel like. You almost have to vote for him or else you're a traitor to this country. You know what Vivek's also got going? Besides what he's talking about, you know, he's got going for him as far as he does have some charisma, right? He seems like, he, like you said, he knows how to talk. Well, dude, he's great. He's and not. He doesn't necessarily. He is a man of color. That's going to help him. How dare you? It will. Term. You you know. <laughs> well, a different ethnicity. Is seems that better? so weird to say Ethnicity? It, no, a man of color. Yeah. It just sounds like such a, ugh, you're well, a man of color. I'm not calling him like a. A white cracker. <laughs> he's obviously, he's not right. But I will have order in this dude. If court, if Trump's out and he get and he runs with that Haley chick as VP, man, they can run. They can run with it. Who Ramaswamy and Haley? If Haley runs as his VP, dude, I, I think they got her in the bag. How did that's was that a sexual reference? No. Are either one of them married? They could have been the bag. Ramaswamy's together. married. Oh, is he? I, I, don't I think know. he's got kids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that much about it. I just listened to... Wouldn't that be crazy if the vice president and the president got married in <laughs> office? <laughs> right. And then they uh, turned it into a dictatorship and tried to take over the country. <laughs> with all those other attributes together, they would get more votes just because of that. You know they right. would. Right. <laughs> They're men, and but the only problem is that <clears throat> if, she, if Haley was in <clears throat> the... Uh, if she was in the Democratic category and he got her, has there ever been a Republican president and a Democrat vice president? Well, no, because they nominate their own party to run with them. You, you know? can't do that, though? Can't the president just pick one? I don't know. Me neither. That would be cool. But the fact that she's a Republican is great. Whatever. They or if would... Trump wins, maybe Ramaswamy will be his VP. <laughs> you know what's after that? I feel like this? they'd be a good team. We're ignoring something in all this. Who, everybody else? <laughs> We're ignoring the fact that Joe Biden's going to get reelected. <laughs> Dude, did you see that video of him in Hawaii? Yeah, I saw it. 
But those people voted for him heavily. What are you talking about? They voted for him, Skeet. <laughs> hey, wake up. We will have like he was going to die, man. <laughs> Looked like he was on his last leg. <laughs> he is, but he's going to win again. How? He can't make four years. We're all going to vote for him. <laughs> no, we're not. You're missing the point. I'm not. You were going to vote. Not for him. You've heard of the new 19 cases that are starting to circulate again. They want oh. you to put on face masks. You're going to have to stay in your home so they can run the votes. Yeah, we got to mail in. You got to mail them in. And then he's going to win. And then you don't know. Right? Yeah, so wouldn't that be, how, what, how the yeah. hell, father. Remember all those votes that were, remember during the riots, they're all like floating around on the streets when the trucks got attacked? Yeah. And they're just like flying around all these pieces that people voted. How they just that disappeared. Happen, man? I don't know. How does that happen? Couldn't, couldn't have been planned. Not possible. <laughs> what would happen if, old Bi if Biden got back in again? I what would know. happen? I think we would riot. He would get impeached for sure. People rioted when he got in. <laughs> not enough. We didn't not riot him. nearly enough. I'm not saying against them. People still rioted in general. Look at the country. It went to... Hell in a handbag? Is that the, the term? Yeah, we were as soon already. as he got in, man, people destroying businesses, burning down buildings, breaking into people's Ooh, businesses, stealing shit. What are you shit. talking about? During the Floyd stuff. Wasn't that during his presidency or was that still during Trump? I think that was Trump. I don't know. Or was that the end, right? When well, did George he Floyd die? Well, that's, yeah, but it took a while, but. It's, but remember the vote things were floating around everywhere. I remember them like being in the streets and they're showing the, the things like flying around and like not even making it there. George Floyd died in 2020. So during the so election. So that was Biden, huh? <laughs> during the election. The election process. is when he, oh yeah. So Biden was president. Well, there. Oh no, he year. died in May. Yeah, yeah, but so Biden. they're going back and well, you don't you don't get in the year because it's twenty twenty four is when you vote, but they don't actually get into office till the February of the next year. They don't actually get sworn into office until twenty twenty five. February is their inauguration day. Stupid is when they they put their hand on the Bible. And swear themselves in. Oh, yeah, because that means so much to us in this country anymore. Well, it should Put my something. hand on the Bible. You don't even preach it in schools anymore. <laughs> we just lost, like, all of our subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. I'll cheers to that. <laughs> For what? Saying they don't do stuff in school? Yeah. Well, no, but I had a good debate with about this in the, in the work truck with a guy today about... Ramaswamy too wanting you heard when he said like all the people in this country should have to pass the same test that the immigrants have to pass. Yeah. Have you ever taken that test? I'd have taken my senior year. I would fail it for sure. Dude, we everybody in my class failed it except for one kid, and that kid was smart. And that one kid, we all said he would be president one day. Was he Chinese? No. He's a white guy. <laughs> I, that wasn't he, meant to be. <laughs> he was just he was just uh he's smart just really cookie, smart, huh? man. He knew his stuff, but we had a debate about it. He wants you to pass that or like serve like six months in the military, like be a recommendation. Who? Vivek wants a presidential candidate to have to pass no. that test? No. Citizens in the country. Excuse me? Yeah. Bitch, I was born here. He's talking Vivek. about- I'm assuming he means like kids in high- I'm assuming we get grandfathered in because we're, we're old enough. I'm thinking he's talking about like when they want to graduate, they should have to pass it. Or like when they turn 18, they should have, they either take that test. Why? We were born here. You make the immigrants coming no, no, over the border pass that test. They do. They're supposed to. He's trying to make, but he's right to a point. It, you think your kids should have had to take that test? And what it, happens if they fail? It we show, kick them out? Then you make them retake it. They have to pass it. How many Why not? chances do you get? If you're get? from this country, you should be able to pass it, right? If you're paying attention in school and they're teaching right. you the right stuff, then you should be able to pass that test. Correct. Correct. Okay. Now, if you can't pass that test, he's saying, he said either or, or one or the other, right? Like you serve six months in the military, which I think would be a good thing. Like I wouldn't be, see, the re, I get all kinds of people be against it. The guy I talked to at work, you, Emmanuel, we were talking about this. He's like, why, why? You shouldn't have to do what you don't want to do. And da, da, da. I was like, I get that, but I think it would make the country more disciplined. I think it'd make it a better place if people had to start doing, like some of them kids, man, they, some kids need that stuff. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. I think. I don't also, think there's anything wrong with it. I think they. Sh I think 
six months in the military when you're first starting out in life is a great idea for this country. I think all of us should have to go and do it. Not, least, uh, I hate to say have to. I don't want to say have to. Well, that's why he said the test or the military. So now the kids that can't so do that can kind choose. of stuff, maybe you got the nerdy kids that, you know, that's not for them. So we're going to make sure they're really smart. Yeah, because do you want So to you can utilize your people. You know that, okay, now you got this kid. You know he passed test. You know this kid. You took a test score. This kid's a brainiac. This is a guy we need to be doing this kind of stuff if something happens. These are the people we need for this other stuff, you know, if mm. something happens. Yeah. He wants to bring the military, right, for the border. He wants to fix the problems in this country first before we... I like his stances on bringing the military out the hell out of Ukraine, mm -hmm. getting them back here, use all those resources to fund our border. Mm -hmm. also, I mean, I get a little wrapped up in Instagram videos sometimes where they're talking about how people in Ukraine are like some of our money's just going to houses and <laughs> like just BS, man. Our money's just being wasted over there. And then there's clips you see of homeless people. In the United States, like just on the streets, dying, picking at their scabs, nowhere to live. Our veterans are home. Like all this nonsense, I get angry at Ukraine, dude. I'm, and we got no business. Putin, he should have. I'm not gonna say that, but <laughs> Putin should have. He's got every right. I think. I'm just gonna say. I think he's got the right. Our I don't know about that. our ambassador. I don't think what to he Russia. Did was right, I guess. No, hear me on this. Our ambassador to Russia came back and told the United States, before all this happened, he came back and told somebody, I, I forget who it was, but he came back and told our Congress, whoever, he said, the reddest of red lines that you don't want to cross, you know, just the same as if as if the, the Cuban Missile Crisis thing, if there were missiles sitting over in Cuba, he said, you cannot let Ukraine join NATO. He's like, that's the one, that's the, the, the brightest of red lines that cannot be crossed over <laughs> there, okay? It's that simple. Just don't do it. Right after that, we came out and said, we think we're going to let Ukraine join NATO. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like we're, something's happening behind the scenes that we're not aware of, dude, and it's diabolical, and it's scary. Yeah. But, but I want to go back to the, the testing and the military thing. So you're saying to test... They shouldn't like if they fail the test. You want them. You want children to have to pass it, just so they have the knowledge. You want to know they retain our the history knowledge. of the country and all I mean, this. Well, like maybe laws, maybe change the test. So how? What is maybe, the maybe, test? What's in it? Well, they ask you. There's a lot of older questions that probably could be like re remissed from it, right? Are they? It probably are, could be redone. Are they piping up Christopher Columbus's murdering mm, ass? I don't. <laughs> I think some, it's a lot of questions, man. I don't even remember. It's a long time ago. But it asks you about like dates and stuff like that and like who did what in the country. And so there's definitely stuff that could be taken out. There's stuff that could be changed in it for sure, 100%. Because how old is this test? Who knows when it was first written, you know? Like anything, things need to be like redone once in a while. Mm. So maybe it needs to be gone through and changed so people see, like, so they're, the the stuff they're getting tested on is knowledge we that they should have right to know things that we want them to know. I don't know what that would be, but it definitely could be like there could be somebody that goes through it and makes sure like these kids are retaining knowledge that they need in life, right? Maybe something to do with even just surviving life. I don't know, man. Who knows? Imagine but, imagine if all of our children or every citizen of the United States had to do that or like a year in the military. Imagine if we were all soldiers. <laughs> you know, everybody you meet, they're like, yeah, I served. <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> like I said, at the minimum, at least make them have to complete uh, a basic like training, dude. Right? What, what, what's the worst? They're going to be in better shape and a better person when they get out? Like, <laughs> it's not going to make them a bad person. It's not always the case, though. You know, there's a lot of... What's going to happen? Can we say the word R-A-P-E on YouTube? Okay, so like there's separate. that that happens in the military actually. I, it I'm not gonna everywhere, say everywhere though. Yeah, but I'm it's saying not something that just happens in the military. I'm saying like it's not gonna be a good thing for everybody to be in the military. <laughs> like it would be good for me and you. We're men. We want that kind of shit. Like we want to test ourselves. <laughs> we want to shoot guns. Like yeah. 
Well, not a lot of people. But people need those basic skills to know how to fire a gun or like. Should they be forced it? though? And their other choices. I don't think so. I, you have yeah, to I'm take fine this with test. It. Yeah, you have options, right? Well, what if they can't pass the? What if they're just idiots? What if they're like well, I can't they, pass the test? Then they should be a grunt, right? <laughs> <laughs> just so saying. you might be right. <laughs> like what I is, will have order in this courtroom, though. <laughs> you might be right. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. So he learns some discipline and he becomes a better person. Like what's what's wrong with him completing a? What's any more different than the government saying you need to complete school or your kids? Or I mean, your parents can take you out, but other than that, you have to go to school, right? It's law. So what's the difference? Like they ask you to do a lot of things in life. There's laws for everything. Yeah. So what, what's so wrong about you? being physically in better shape when you get out of there. Americans wouldn't be overweight all the, like people would probably be generally better in, in regards there to, I think fat Navy seals, like who, who they're like active duty. Well, cause overweight they've been in for so seals. long. Right. And they're not required to right. do the things they're doing. I get anymore. what you're saying. I just had to throw yeah. that out there. There is but everywhere. Right. I think, what do you think the age? I think from 18 to 19. I think just even a course, everybody. like a three month, Whatever basic training is, whatever goes, just teach just them basic months? training. That's not enough. We need to indoctrinate them with the, so they know how to use a gun. America, how they know how to use a gun. I want to pound America into these kids. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I don't either. I'm starting to come around to your side. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be. I the, the way I looked at it is like, would I be mad if they made my kids do it? And would I'm, you be mad if they no, took your I'm daughter? Not. They came to the house and said, we're taking her to the military. No, She's gonna I'm saying. She's going to be living in the barracks with all these dudes. No, because what if, the, well, okay, so what if they do women's and a men's thing? No, we're not doing that. Why? Women are equal these days. You get to well, be Well, they can have men. that choice then. <laughs> <laughs> Which side do you think they're going to choose? What, an all woman? You think they'll get to choose? Well, I'll go, go with the all woman crew. No, that's a weak force. We can't have an all woman military Okay, but crew. she's not going to be the only force. woman in there. It's going to be everybody that turns 18 at that time, right? That's like, true. They're going to have to go with a bunch of people. That's true. So make them go through. No, I'm not I'm not against it. I know what you would be doing. You'd be at home making her study that test. You'd be like, you're going to pass this test so you don't have to go to the military. If it's, your sons, you'd be like, just go. just basic training, go. I'm fine with them having to do both, to be honest. That's true. It would be nice. I kind of wish my parents would have sent me somewhere. Because <laughs> the way we grew up, man, I just, there was no... I, I, we weren't part of people's like world. <laughs> we were off on our own. We were like Amish people, man. We had nothing, <laughs> you know. Even growing up for me though, like as when I graduated, if that would have been, I'd have been like, hell no, I don't want to go. But now I'm like, I wish they would have made me go. <laughs> yeah, I wish they would have said you're going. And then I'd have got a brand. I told somebody the other day, I want to get a, <laughs> a brand. We were talking about tattoos. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I want to get branded. I don't want to tattoo two skis. Let's get branded, bro. Would you do that with me? Let's get a <laughs> identical. Actual, I don't know if I want a brand, dude. <laughs> what? Come on, man. It's the same as a what tattoo. What about a little? No, it's got to be That's real. It's a brand. It doesn't no, go we got to be blood brothers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> it can be a little one, like a little alien or something. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> you just got, don't jump. Okay. Cause if you jump and they it's scar and then they got to do it again, you know, so just keep yourself steady. But yeah, man, I like this idea. Well, I like what he's got to say. You're voting for Vivek. He says he wants the American flag. I want the American. He wants flag. people to remember what the American flag stands for, dude. When he said that, that got me. I know, man. He gave he gave me a huge sense of patriotism that I've longed for ever since. Out of I, somebody, yeah. When Barack Obama became president, I would see Barack. I was still kind of oddly young to the point where I didn't give a half of a damn, but I would see Barack and I was like, yeah, he looks, he speaks presidential. You know, Barack turned out to be kind of a piece of, you know, trash. I but he was he a did great, really anything. he would speak great. I think he kind of just stood in the shadows. Who, Barack? Kind of, right? Yeah, exactly. He didn't, he didn't do anything wrong, but he didn't do anything right. Yeah, he didn't want to rock the boat. He didn't want to make change, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> just like he said. <laughs> like he said. So Vivek, you know, I'm getting those same vibes, but he actually has this sense of, I'll do it. You know, and he speaks. I like that. Dare me? <laughs> He's like, dare me to. I'll do. Some, I got eight hundred and fifty million dollars in the bank. I'll do whatever. He even said it on the debate. He's like, I'm the only one up here that's not bought and paid for. He pulled a straight up Trump dude on everybody, 
And DeSantis had nothing to say. <laughs> Did you see the weird smile DeSantis did after he gave his little speech and he did this little robot smile? Did you see that? Mm. Damn, bro. What if Vivek is Trump's little, like, minion? Because <laughs> maybe Trump's worried about going to jail? Because he said he'd pardon Trump. There's a couple people they said they would pardon Trump, right, if he was in jail? Yeah, I would imagine if any kind of Republican gets in office, the first thing they would do is pardon Trump. There's only so many. There's, like, five if people don't, raise their hand. don't, you pussy. <laughs> There's only five people. No, raise their hand that said they would. I guess they asked. Or... I'm ner- DeSantis really upset me. He's I've not what you thought he was, a right? a lot of faith in DeSantis. He seems a little bought and paid for on that stage, which he is, right? He seemed like Most he was locked are. up. Like he had certain points he had to say. He didn't want to piss some people off. He was. He, I was like, come on. You're the trying to go for the president you're gonna show us that you have no balls right here in the first debate like he unzipped his pants and there's like nothing there someone else has DeSantis's nuts already it was disheartening is As that crenshaw dude still in in politics dan crenshaw yeah. navy seal Hell yeah. Dude, Vivek should pick him as a running hold man. up though remember <laughs> crenshaw and david goggins were beefing Mm. I got to take David Goggins' side. <laughs> Just because they're trash talk. That David. has nothing to do with the politics, though. No, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> no. Don't that's you ever personal. Smear. That's personal David stuff. David Goggins. Yeah, I guess. That's true. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, per- that's on a different personal level. You know what? See, I'm You're not right. against personal stuff. Like, like even like yeah. <laughs> Bill Clinton, when stuff was happening with him, I was like, I get what he's doing might be wrong, but if it didn't affect him being a president, does it matter? Yeah, Bill was just trying to get his little Peter sucked. And she was willing. Like, are you so kidding So what's me? going, what, what is wrong here? We're going to impeach our president for stepping out on Hillary? Okay, I don't condone cheating, by the way. <laughs> but, come on now. It's the president. Of the, the, he's the president of the United, it's like. I bet he's like, Hillary, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm going to do what I want. You do what you want. <laughs> We're going to live a happy life. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, you shouldn't, yeah. Personal little things like that. It's also, it's, it's, it's also a you can't get caught. That's the other thing. It's, <laughs> it's that. It's like if Barack was getting sucked off by dudes in the White House, which is very mm, possible. Michelle. Well, amongst others, because the guy came out, right? Well, is it Michelle a guy? Suppose that's the whole conspiracy. Wait, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I w- Those pictures look oddly similar when they show his buddy in like right, college. Right, she does have a piece, but that could also be <laughs> <laughs> that could also be um, 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 digitally placed there, right? Maybe those photos could be. You digitally. could say that about anything, then. Anybody could use that defense. Even the picture where they showed her with shaved head. A lot of black women do that, and if she did that with her face, she would already look. Hey, I can say this. I'm a black guy. F all you, okay? There are some manly looking black women out there, okay? And there's manly looking white women. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle's not necessarily I don't think Michelle's when I look at Michelle, I see a woman, honestly. The bulge concerns me. But she I more, know she's I kind know of built like a guy too though. I know what black women look like. You know? I'm a black man. I understand like so. black people. No, if it, ever comes to... out, if it ever comes out, man, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know what women are. Well, I hold know. up. No, because I don't. <laughs> Dude, there's a, I was watching videos just last night. I was scrolling through Instagram and this uh, guy was in Thailand interviewing a lady boy. Yeah, dude, some of them are fucking. She was. You would not be able to tell. Gorgeous, <laughs> or he was. I don't know. I you was would, like, God, you wouldn't be able damn. to tell for sure. Some of them, unless they like whip out. A- <laughs> I even watched the video like five times. Mm-hmm. I was watching facial features. I was his expressions. Everything was very. Fa- I was like, Jesus Christ! I'd have been tricked <laughs> until he opened his mouth. He did have a deeper tone to his voice, <laughs> and that would have thrown me for sure. I'd have got <laughs> it then. But if he'd have just sat over in the corner. Was looking at me waving. I'd have gone and tried to get the number, one hundred percent. But not it's Michelle. Scary, right? It's terrifying, actually. The the dude was gorgeous. I was like, this is better than ninety percent of women that I encounter on a daily the time basis. We live in, right? Yeah. Um. <laughs> but Michelle, I don't know, bro. I I don't know. I have my concerns. I feel like people are trying. But then the dude that came out and told his testimony about how he met Barack when Barack was a congressman 
And Barack, I think Barack sucked him off. <laughs> Where he, no, he sucked Barack. Something like that. Either way. I think I saw it, so the guy talk about it. Yeah, that was awfully real. <laughs> that guy, you know, you watch somebody and you're like, he's got nothing to gain from this, really. He's just telling his story. <laughs> you're like, oh, it seemed like one of those. <laughs> yeah, it's not like it's going to hurt him at this point, you know? Like, the guy's not president anymore. Like, what is it? Maybe ruin his reputation yeah. a little bit, but it's... It's like he could have came out and said it was his president and he didn't. Right. You know? I think there's a lot more homosexuals in Congress and in office that we don't know about. It's like when you get to a certain level in life, you're just like, <laughs> I need to try stuff. Just like, hey. This just ain't working <laughs> for me anymore. Well, baby. no. It's like it's like porn, dude. L- yeah. Like life, when you become you a- Step it up on that. Yeah, when you become powerful and you have options and you're all of a sudden, you're like, oh, I got all this ability. I can do all these things. I have a jet. Like all this shit- then you like things just aren't good enough. You see it when rich people buy stupid stuff. They're just like, oh, it's exquisite. Like, oh, it's rare. I'll take it. You know, they just keep stepping their life up. David Cho, you know who David Cho is? You probably still haven't watched Beef, have you? Mm-hmm. God. I need a beep button so I can curse and say, just beep. <laughs> but David Cho was on Joe Rogan recently and he told this story about how. He eventually got to this place where he said, I had all the money I needed, right? And and the one thing in his life that he had never really had was women. So he decided he wanted to fix this problem in his life. He wanted to become the man that could speak to women. So he just started, like a lot of dudes do, he just started hammering on the craft of picking up women. He said he had all the lines right. He had all the, the jokes. He knew what to say on a date. He got to the point where he was just picking up hoes and he was getting it. This Everything before he before he was famous. No, when he was famous. David Cho. <sighs> well... He was talking about how he's aged and he's got a small dick and all this stuff, so it's a little <laughs> difficult for him to like yeah. get into the groove of just being confident around women. But if people knew who he was, it definitely helped her. Right, <laughs> like, right. They're like, oh, he's someone famous. But like, my, they can fake. Right, but my, <laughs> oh, that's, that's not my point. My point to the story is he said eventually he found himself, and my point to, like I'm trying to describe yeah, how yeah. rich and powerful and successful people, eventually they just go, oh, we got to try some new stuff, you know? He said eventually he came to this point where he was in this bed with, like, a bunch of different people. And there was, like, a transvestite. What do you call them? Trans person (laughs) next to him. And he was looking at the penis right there. And he was like, I could suck it. I could just lick it. He was like, like, he's like, I'm here. I might as well experience this. (laughs) He's he's like, you know, he's telling the story. He didn't do it, right? But he was at this place in his life where he was like, that was his kind of awakening moment where he's like, what am I doing? He's like, if I keep going, I'm just going to eventually do it, right? I'm just going to go into all these weird places in life. So he pulled the reins back, you know? He's like, I need to get out of here. So I think that's what happens with a lot. Like, we're talking about Hillary and well, Bill Hollywood, Clinton. Hollywood, I think, more. Yeah, too. Hollywood. All these people. It's like, life is too boring. It's weird. I just watched an interview with this basketball player. They want to push the limits, see how far they can go. Dude, this basketball player, I don't remember who he was, but he was retired. And they were asking him, so are you happy now? You're living, you got money, you've got all this? He's like, I'm miserable. He's like, if I can't play basketball, what, like, what is there to life? He's like, I'm retired now, like what? But he's got millions. But he's got all the cars. Right? But it's like, I don't know. It's like people just, you never, you never stop wanting shit, right? So there's gay people. In Congress, how do we get on this again? Oh, Michelle and Barack. <laughs> yeah, they just get to these levels, right? You want to keep leveling up. You're like, oh, what's the next level? Oh, I gotta, I'm gonna hang out with that tranny over there, or that whatever. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna do. Yeah, hell yeah, that's the next level. Like women are boring me now. <laughs> Fifty Cent said that in an interview recently. He said, I've seen every kind of of the JJ you could possibly ever see. He said, at a certain point, I was so rich and powerful, and in the club, women were throwing themselves at me. He said, at a certain point, the baller thing to do was to turn the women down and, like, go hide in my hotel room. <laughs> he was like, it got, like, he had to level up. It was like, oh, yeah. But he saw it as that, he's like, he's taking someone home. Wow. It's 50 Cent. <laughs> yeah, it's course. anybody. Well, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Like, you still got out your needs. <laughs> Like he was just happening too often where he want, he wasn't getting his own time. Right. Basically, right. Right. Yeah. He didn't have no free time. No, he he was just he started to think I'm too good. Like, 
oh, this girl has to really work to get me, is what he's he's thinking, you know, in his head. It's like, I'm too good for this. I need more. I need different. Like, what? It's just a girl throwing herself at me? A beautiful... That's not enough. So he needs to pursue another woman of power. Yeah. Is what you need to do. Yeah, which is why I always think, if I was ever to get in office, I'd be trying to hit up these women in power, man. God, there... I'm, God forbid, I have a girlfriend, of course, and all this. I'm <laughs> married. But let's say I'm married, whatever, right? I wouldn't do it. But if I was a single man, dude, you know who the first woman I would hit up? Tulsi Gabbard. I'd try to hit that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't you? Yeah, She's you know. a strong woman. <laughs> Back in the day, it would have been, uh, what's her face from Alaska, right? She's a good-looking mama. Oh, yeah. I think I know who you're talking about. <laughs> well, I can't think of her name. What did you do, Hillary? What did you try to hit? She's powerful. I don't care. She can get you connections. She'd probably eat me or something. What about her daughter? You'd probably go after her daughter. Nah. Imagine if you got on the wrong side of Bill and Hillary. George Bush had some all right looking daughters, though. One Did or he? Two. I never saw his family. Yeah, yeah, like one or two, I think. So that that's right. cool. I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of George, either. <laughs> He'll bomb your house. He'll fly a plane into your house. <laughs> like, ah, you want to tap that? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, uh, damn, 41 minutes? Too long? No, I love that. That's great. It's <laughs> a, a good so, podcast. I hope you guys are still listening. You wanted to go short. You didn't want it to go so long. Oh, no, dude, I like these long ones. So you're voting for Vivek. I'm, I'm trying doing, to nail him down no, on this. I'm trying. I'm not picking one right now. I'm just very on Vivek team right Is now. Is it between Vivek because and Trump? Trump's not, yeah, because Trump's not doing anything right now. And you don't know what's going to happen. He's he's very up in the air. Like, for all you know, Trump can pull out because he could just be tired of it, dude. He might just give up. I would know I would be exhausted of this. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying, like, you don't know what's going to happen yet. He seems like he's just over So it. for my, as far as like someone I'm sure that's going to run and can be there and is part of it right now, it's Vivek for the Republicans. I like how you say that, Vivek. Yeah. Because I'm not sure I'm sold on the, nothing against that Nikki, hate, was she from South Dakota, right? Nikki? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm not against her, but like, I just don't know. I don't want to ruin that either. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm Nikki. on board. I'm not on board yet for a woman to be president. I'm not, and I don't even know her, and that's the <laughs> weird. It's like just she's a, just a random woman. For you to be a woman, even a man, and you're running for president, we got to kind of, you got to do something. I don't see her on any podcast. See, that's what these older people don't get. Well, she's just playing the woman card right now. That's why. Yeah, it ain't going to work. We need a man. We're at war right now in this country, <laughs> and I'm sorry. But we don't need someone that's going to start more wars. <laughs> No, or somebody that's just going to bend over and take it, literally and figuratively, from another country. Mm -hmm. It's like, mm -hmm. I can't have... Imagine if we had a female president and we found out, like, another country's president hit it while she was in office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, Xi Jinping. What if she did it for your country, though? No. I did it for the U.S. I'll be like, you are a traitor to this country. What if she? What you if it, took another, What if what she did? What she did it for was a really good cause. <laughs> you made us look weak. And then she snapped it off right afterwards. Yeah. Nah, he already busted. We saw. Like, well, she let it happen, yeah, because she still was like enjoying. I'll never the be able to look at her the same. But what? What? What have you found out? But she's doing it just to infiltrate Putin to like take him out. I would say we have CIA <laughs> agents for that. But Why they can't get sucking? close to him. Maybe a woman needs to. Damn, I'd be so. We would feel so weak. It's definitely a man's downfall weak. for sure. One hundred. It's for sure. Yeah. Why don't we do that? <laughs> We should we should elect a female president and have her seduce other presidents. <laughs> other other country leaders, she goes and seduces them and like we should get a hot woman for our president. Mm -hmm. Just send her over to do diplomatic work for other countries. But she's, she's got to be really like good at other things too besides that, right? Not really. Well, we want her to take him out, right? Just have her get, like, Trump as her VP. And Trump can be back here really running the country, and she's overseas sucking him for the for the cause, <laughs> like, doing her duty. Man, I hate we didn't lose viewers. We didn't. Oh. <laughs> I hate to sound. No, come on. <laughs> I hate to sound. Yeah, this is not sexist at all. No. What do you call what we're doing? There's female presidents. I mean, 
Maybe that's what Biden was doing Let's with Germany. Let's be honest. Let's yeah, stop that's, lying to ourselves. That's okay, women one. like to suck. God damn. There's no easy way to say that. <laughs> yeah. They, everybody likes to have their fun. Women have... Everybody likes to have yeah, their fun. Women know? have fun in a different way. It just so turns out that <laughs> when they have fun like that, I would lose respect for her. <laughs> but I would appreciate what she did. I will say, you can't bend it over for another country. No way. I do. Now I'm thinking I got another. Now that we're talking about downfalls and things where you lose respect, I'm thinking there is a downside to Vivek. He doesn't have that presence where I feel like he would put fear into the other president's country, the country's president. Oh, yeah. He sounds like a frat I, boy. I don't feel like he has that. He doesn't have the presence. That's why I think he needs a VP that has that more powerful presence. Okay, so he can't That's get that why woman. I think that Crenshaw would be a good dude. Like, if you got a picture of a guy sitting next to him with an eye patch, like it's like his bodyguard. Yeah, I can see it right now. I'm, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vivek, Vivek. He has a more powerful presence. Yeah, but... Crenshaw is not even running for anything. He's just no. in Congress. I just feel you like can't he... yank him out of Congress, can you? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I don't know why you'd want VP for... for. Uh... You know, that's a good point. Vivek, I'm not afraid of him at all. <laughs> <laughs> I even like him, when he's but talking, I'm not afraid of him. Even when he's talking trash, <laughs> you know, I don't feel the like the fear, like... Yeah, that's our leader. Let's go. Let's kill these people. I, I, America needs some of that. Trump had it for sure. Even Barack. Because he's an angry old white man. <laughs> right. Barack had it too. If he had grown a pair, yeah. you know, he could have rallied the troops. Yeah. He just chose not to. Yeah. Biden has zero of anything. You know, I, Vivek. You need a powerful presence damn. too. Can you imagine Vivek? His power, his power that he uses is his his... His ability to think, right? Like he has the right. The mind he's smart, power, right? which is probably probably better. <laughs> it's probably better, but for a country full of brutes, you know, which we are, we're we're just brutes. I we're, guess we're the, savages. America's a bunch of savages. Well, we the, pretend the world we're not. is right. <laughs> no, we pretend we're not though. We criticize other countries for fighting each other, and we destroy everything. Hey man, we ain't taking out our own politicians by. I mean, look at Russia though. <laughs> like Putin's like. Oh, we're just going to shoot him down. We're going to blow him up on his own plane. <laughs> oh, bro. And not even deny it. We're just going to say we did it. I, there was, uh, I saw a news article that said he might still be alive, and that was a decoy plane. Why? Here's a question. How do you have the balls to think you can fly through Russia on a jet after you tried to take out Putin? How would he have the balls to step foot on a plane after that? I would be on the no-fly list forever. <laughs> I mean, you're going to get poisoned or sniped in the head. Something's going to happen. But my God, you can't think you could just hop on a plane and cruise through the country, bro. The only reason I don't think it's fake because after that, Putin came out and told all of the Wagner Group people that they must now sign contracts and be mercenaries for the Russian government. Bro. That's why. He said, you are going to come and be with us now. Like, come over here, and now you do what we say, basically. If I was Putin, I would kill all of those people. The thing is, they're all over the place. They're in Africa. They were in Belarus. What was the Wagner group? I thought it was they're, just a group of Russians. They're, they are. They're, they're, the Russians didn't have their own military, so this guy, that guy used to be Putin's chef back in the day. Damn. The guy that he, he was a chef at one time and became, like, a military leader. And the guy, but he took prisoners, right, from the prisons and turned them into to soldiers that's what he was doing he would he'd have russia take him out of prison and then instead of being in prison they could come and fight and be in his group and they're mercenaries is what they are they're hired mercenaries the by, chef was doing this he was a chef at one time and then he quit what and became a mercenary i'm assuming he just worked as he must, maybe he was maybe he was already a really smart man he just ended up starting as a chef i don't know huh. maybe he was really young when that happened I just know he said he, he was a chef for Putin at one time. But, yeah, he, he was the leader of this mercenary group. He took all these people out of... So these people were standing behind him still after that, uh, I guess, because they're like, well, this guy took us out and, like, is trying to rehabilitate us and not leave us in prison, you know? And, like, you killed our man, you know? Damn. 
It was kind of weird. They got where's Trump? Where's Putin in Moscow? Right? Yeah, he can't leave. They had their own summits for their BRICS thing, and he couldn't leave because he's worried about getting arrested. Well, this Wagner group, they got all the way up almost to Moscow, <laughs> and then they turned around. And then they just quit. Nobody yeah. knows why. Maybe it was just to show that they could. That's dumb. No, you, not you just you like, just pretty much said, "Hey, Putin, we're the traitors. You now you know who to kill, right? Why wouldn't you yeah, try to finish that?" But. You got to assume your soldiers are going to do what you ask them. I guess. What if they join the mercenaries? <laughs> you know? What if they're more for the people? You don't know. Maybe Putin just, uh, he's fucking abusing his power, right? And people yeah. are starting to see through it, maybe. Yeah. You just never know. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you do, though. <laughs> and speaking of chefs, you heard what happened to Barack's chef, right? Hmm. He drowned in eight feet of water. <laughs> <laughs> paddle boarding on the lake i always it's a conspiracy of course but i know there was some kind of little navy seal under there just held his foot <laughs> when he fell off they probably tipped him off the boat or the board and just held his foot underwater somebody was saying drowning's not a great cover story for someone to die i'm like he was a black dude and he <laughs> drowned like that's a great cover story <laughs> and he was paddle boarding or... he was paddle boarding and he drowned in some water I think it's also very possible that he could have drowned, you know, just panicked. Mm -hmm. You go underwater, eight feet, you know, you go under six feet and you're like, I can't feel the bottom. You start screaming, you, <laughs> you're dropping like a rock, you know, those other two feet well, beneath you. <laughs> you don't know what else happened. Yeah. I know I've in where we're at when I was, I mean, off topic, but I've, I know somebody that drowned in a boat because the boat tipped in like, like a foot of water. You did? I've. I knew the person was. Yeah, he worked with them at one time as a as, at a job. Oh, someone drowned that you know in a foot of water in a boat. The boat tipped. He hit his head. Oh, so he knocked him unconscious, and he's face down in the water. So he technically drowned. Damn, isn't that crazy? That would suck, bro. <laughs> God. Dog. You think about your life sometimes, and I'm, I wonder, I always tell dumbest, myself, yeah, I'm going to fall yes. asleep one day when I'm 80, 90 years old, 100, and whatever, and I'm just going to fall asleep. But you might die in some weird, stupid way like that. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah, right. I just hope that I Something don't. Something just falls from the sky? Bro, I fell from down. From a plane, a piece of a plane? Anything. <laughs> I fell down my basement stairs earlier today, and I was as I was going yeah, I bet down. that's not the first time. I was like, bro. Really? This is so ridiculous that I just fell down these stairs. And oh, what I'm if dying. I would have hurt myself really bad or killed myself? What a like stupid. Broke your neck yeah, you'd have showed up. I'd have been all crumpled up at the bottom of the stairs. Like I'd have been texting. I get no texts. I was like, nah, typical Jerry, not texting me back. He's probably in the shower. <laughs> yeah. You're like, hell, no. Oh, choking on your own blood. Speaking of dying, too, before we end this. <laughs> What about the Maui fires, dog? Is there anything to the blue? People are saying you have a blue house, laser I beams. Don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's be real. I saw the video, but it's very easy to like put colors on things that didn't burn. It's right? true. They did look colored. But still, Oprah, <laughs> like everybody's saying conspiracies about rich people buying up property and the rich houses didn't burn. <laughs> the yeah. fire hydrants you can see were cut those off. Those photos are real. There's all like the rich property and then there's like a line. So a straight line. It's like, oh. what did the fire just know not to do it? How do you, here's the other question. If you start a fire with lasers, how do you keep it? How do you control a fire from just, it's going to do what it's going to do. Fire mm -hmm. doesn't burn in a straight line like that. No, but their conspiracy is it was or like a giant ring around the fires, like around the island. So how did that happen? Like... Usually your wind's going to control the fire, right? Like it's going to blow it a certain way. Right. And there were crazy winds because there was like yeah. tropical storm, whatever happening at that time. I don't know, man. I do know I saw the video. I saw footage where they were talking to a lady on, on an interview that lived there that said it's like the next day there was already like people calling or trying to buy up her stuff. Yeah. Like, and then people died, man. Like, what if this lady, like, lost her husband? You're calling her the next day, like, hey, yeah. we'll buy your property. People that are trying to make a buck, they don't give a damn. They're like, we'll help you, but you're going to give us the land. But they're not. They're sticking strong. Good, man. I like that. They're a group of people sticking strong. Because the, the, the islanders, the people that are actually native to the island, owned 
that land. That's a conspiracy. It's not like owned by other like developmental developers, right? But it's, it's owned of, by people. Dude, they had their own group there, and they're islanders that like went there. They're, they're like a co-op of people that are from there that decided as a group not to sell like to people beforehand even because people have already tried to purchase it before because this area is worth like billions of dollars. And they said, no, we're keeping it. It's ours. So do those people not pay taxes on their land? Because it's oh, technically yeah. part of the United States, right? If they own it, it's Hawaii. Hawaii is a yeah, weird but a place. Sta- a state decides their taxes, right? I don't know. Well, you pay state taxes. You st- you're not paying. You're not paying federal taxes on your land. You're paying state taxes. So your state is who you're buying your Hawaii's land. Hawaii's got to be a little different though, because it's an island. Yeah, and but we it's don't... still. It's technically a state. It's not like a true a providence or whatever they call it when it's not a completely a state, right? Where they still like. Because there's the other islands, right? We have like the Virgin Island area, which is like technically not a state, and it's still like or like Puerto Rico, right? They can like vote, right? Can't they? But they, I, but they they're not a better state. Not be able to. Vote. I think Puerto Rico has I some think you like lose rights. Your voting rights when you go over there. They have some kind of rights, so they're not like a complete. They're not a state, but they're like a. They're like an entity of the U.S. Which is weird. Why not just well? Because people like Nancy mm-hmm. and whoever else, they need places to funnel their money to and keep it safe <laughs> and all this nonsense. Yeah, if we make a mistake, then it's not safe no more, right? Yeah. Now you're paying state, you're paying federal taxes on your money. It's shady to mm. me. I it's weird, but you can make a conspiracy out of anything. And yeah. rich people, if there's an opportunity for them to buy cheap land, obviously they're always going to go and throw their offers in. You know, like people in real estate, that's their thing. When tragedy strikes, they're like, "Yes, I'm buying, baby!" Right? <laughs> so it's everybody's like, "They were buying immediately." It's like, "Yeah, that's the best time to buy." <laughs> you know, when the when housing they're down on their luck. Yeah, when the crisis in 2008 struck, people, certain people are out there buying land, baby. I want property. I'm gonna get it while it's freaking dirt cheap. And nobody else can afford this. I would still, even if it's my property, and I had to sit on it and. Build a shack. Starve to keep that land. I would until I would have got every cent that land was worth. Yeah, I would keep negotiating. <laughs> but I'm a, I'm a, how do you want to say a Jew? A Jew on that kind of stuff. Yeah, you don't have any nah, ties man, to land. You're like care. a you're like a mutt. <laughs> you know these people have ties to Hawaii. They're Hawaiians. Skis. I wouldn't even sell. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't sell to Oprah. Everything's got dollar value, man. That's true. <laughs> I don't care who you are. <laughs> and I talked to. Uh, my girlfriend's dad he's a firefighter i was out we were out with him and another one of his firefighter the guy that works at his fire station i was asking them about what's the deal with the fire hydrants just not working some of them and they're like well that's plausible because you know sometimes depending on elevation depending on how much water is available like you can run out of water like it's not it's not just an unlimited supply which is weird because they're on a freaking island. Can you pour salt water on fire? It'll put uh, it out, right? Yeah, you would think. <laughs> like, why? They have an unlimited supply of water. Technically do have an unlimited, but you wouldn't have salt water just stored up reserved because it would corrode all your stuff, right? It, yeah, I but you just have pumps that like you drop into the water and it pumps it out, right? Makes sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> he he. The way he explained it to me, it made sense also that it would run out. He explained it in a firefighter way. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. You know, if everybody's, one of the things he said, if everybody's trying to use every fire hydrant, he said, even in our city, if you try to open every one at the same you time, too much pressure. yeah, you're not going to have any pressure. They're going to, so that makes sense. But also it's like, Jesus Christ, you guys live on an island and all these buildings are old as hell and they're all made of wood. You never thought you should be pressurized up. You should have some sort, some sort of backup where you can just pull all the water you need from the ocean right there. People were literally jumping in the water to, to not burn to death. The water was right there. Why well, could you not have water to fight this fire? That. You should have some kind of pump you, you can drop some, right in the water. Yeah, there should be a massive thing that comes out of the ground in the center of Hawaii and it just... Actually, the, pump, the pumps wouldn't even have to be in the water. <clears throat> All you would need is the pump on land, a hose to run into the, to You literally the take the hose, drop it in the water, and now it sucks up the water and pumps it out the other end, right? Dude, yeah. <laughs> there should have been something. I mean, if I could figure that out. Someone should saying. have been able to figure that shit out. I mean, I see it happening when we get too much rain. <laughs> they pump yeah. stuff out of the ditches, right? Well, Obviously, think. those pumps aren't pressurized enough to 
do something like that, but they definitely make pumps capable of doing yeah, that. Yeah, man. That's almost inexcusable for a fire like that to rage <laughs> as long as it did and destroy as much as it did, and you can't get water, and you're you on an island. Sprinkler. There's the beach. <laughs> yeah. You just pop up. Everybody should have had sprinklers in their yards, and they just all turn them on. Salt water everywhere. Like you said, the salt water, I'm sure, corrodes corrodes metal. Yeah, you can't have it like in your tanks and stuff just reserved, but it's right there. There's got to be a way to get it. Like, (laughs) in an emergency, you should have had something set up. So stupid. What a... I don't know. You can literally turn salt water into drinking water, too. So, like, for you to say, we can run out of water... Yeah, it's possible. No. But we also have the, the technology to build plants that can turn salt water into fresh water. Yeah, desalination (laughs) plants, they call them. (laughs) You know, it's like we ran out of water. Granted, it's a lot of money, but, I mean, people wouldn't have to die. (laughs) Right? You could have saved way more of that town. We ran I'm out. saying just if we ran out of, like, drinking water even, they would be like, oh, we're out of drink. People, so many people would just buy into it, like, what, there's there's a way to make water? <laughs> if we could easily get, convert salt water to fresh water, drinking water, do you think we would eventually, like, drain down the ocean? <laughs> Not drain them there's down, so but do you think it would there. drop, like, five feet? And we're like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, we got to stop sucking out of the ocean, man. Well, I'm saying if we haven't ran out of water yet of fresh water... I'm thinking the ocean would last quite a while. I'm sure. It would last way through all of our lifetimes. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried about the mother people. It would last hundreds of years. Yeah, it's it's what? We're, that's everybody's thought process, right? Like, <laughs> I got only 50 years left. As long as we're good, I'm good. Well, now. what is it? 70% of the freaking earth is covered in water? It's like, come on. We got water, man. <laughs> we got this. Mm. Uh, the hydrants ran out. Epstein killed himself. <laughs> the towers just collapsed. Some of them that didn't even get hit. All the weird things. That the thing in is, life. here's the thing, too, man. Bad things always happen. I feel like it's just a thing to make us forget. Like, what story are we gonna come out today so they don't think for themselves and like want to actually fix things? Oh, here, let's make. Everybody loves media, right? Everybody loves TikTok. Everybody loves this. Like we can just we can just make you guys think about something else. Yeah. What if we just look at we just say the Hawaiian fires were just out of control. Their hydrants were all trying to be used. There's no conspiracy here. You know the hydrants just failed (laughs) when they really needed them. The power lines are what started the fire. There were high winds. There was a freaking hurricane in the area at the time. Crazy winds. It blew the fire everywhere. People died. And then as for the realtors and Oprah Winfrey and whoever else trying to buy land, that's what they do. That's their job, right? <laughs> like, we don't need to panic. The government's not trying to kill us right now. It's just, it was a fire. Now let's rebuild this Now place. let's rebuild it. Yeah. <laughs> if we just approach, we would have way less stress and panic and instead, oh, my God. The government's trying to kill us. <laughs> they started this fire in Hawaii. They kill everybody. They just wanted more property. Like, you're right. You're right. <laughs> they wanted cheap like, land. Right. Yeah, and then we're making videos of it. But at the same time, Ski, <laughs> yeah. those towers didn't come down from planes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, there are, and then conspiracies, there's some conspiracies out there that have proven to be true. So, Oh, for sure. I just don't feel like a fire is a great and then lasers from the sky. There's yeah, that. Crazy. Nah, I'm not. You're losing me a little bit. Mm. You know, I can't. I can't get on board with all of it. But it's fun to talk about, and yeah. you do have to mention it. It makes you crazy because then you're like, it's crazy because you're like, well, where are these lasers coming from? <laughs> from UFOs, bro. We're getting closer than ever to UFOs. I finally watched the Joe Rogan episode where he interviewed James uh, Fox who did the Moment of Contact documentary that you told me to watch. Oh, yeah. The uh, Virginia, Brazil. Virginia, right? Virginia, yeah, that UFO thing. <sighs> that episode with Joe Rogan, man, that guy has me 100% convinced that there's <laughs> aliens out there. Like, the stuff he was pulling Whatever up. Whatever happened at that time, at least, was something. Dude, it's wild. The government was... Even if they're covering up something. The whole town wouldn't have covered it up. And then people who didn't have, people who weren't even in the same area were telling the exact same stories of what they saw. It's so, come on. We can't, I don't, it's real. 
I 100% <laughs> believe that story. That episode, dude, I was driving in my heart. I was like, whew, I was just waiting for it. I, I was listening to the story. It was so good. <laughs> I love UFO stories so much. And I just want to see one. And it's pissing me off because mm. I feel like they don't show themselves to people who want to see them. <laughs> I feel like once you see one, you're going to be like, I wish I never would have saw one. <laughs> yeah, but I kind of want that. Something bad's going to happen. I want like, that, though. I wish I would have never wished that. <laughs> probably. Probably, but I still want it. How could you not? I don't know. <laughs> and the, what pisses me off more than anything, before we end this, what pisses me off is how great the digital world is now. Whenever I see a UFO video, I'm like, something went by the window. I'm like, you could have made that digitally. I yeah, don't know if it's, it's just, real or not anymore. You there's not me. enough proof out there. Unless I see it. But awesome. don't touch an alien. Because that one military guy, he picked him up, took him to the hospital. He died. And that guy died so from there's some like horrible radioactive disease. Yeah. I don't know if even gloves would help. Just shoot him from a distance. You probably don't even want to be near them. <laughs> Throw a net on him. They're little. They're like four feet tall. You can. Well, the one kid, what about the Vegas one then? Those were tall ones, right? Damn, they were. Yeah, he said it was like seven, eight feet tall. Big eyes, big mouth, and they were looking at him. <laughs> and they were getting in the forklift and stuff. I was like, what? <laughs> He's ready to what go. What happened work, to dog? that kid? Yeah, the ki <laughs> their family just poof. That story went away quick. And they said government people were coming through there. It's like, come on, there's something to this. Hmm. Of course, you didn't catch it on video. I'm so critical of people like that. How the hell did you not get Nobody that has. on your iPhone 15? But they make it sound like things happen technologically when they're around. Like things tend not to yeah. work. So it's an easy cover up to say <laughs> if you saw one too, like, oh, all my stuff failed. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, my phone quit working. Like all of our electronics went haywire. You're like, fuck. <laughs> Stupid bastard. You should have had backups. <laughs> right. Should have had something. Nobody's ring cameras captured this. We saw the one picture, right? Yeah, it's not. No, that was fake. Someone even com <laughs> someone even commented on our video. That I think, was five said, years ago. They proved that was fake. Yeah, da, 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 da. I was like, okay, whatever. I'm still posting it. You're Just like fake. that's why I'm holding this cigar. <laughs> I saw a comment once. Some dude was. I only read like a portion of it, and I was like, I'm not gonna finish the rest of this because he started off by like. Won't you stop holding that cigar like a? And I just didn't even finish the rest of his comment because I was like, I don't want to see it because it's gonna piss me off. I'm gonna be thinking about it. So, but whatever. To that guy, f you. Okay, I'm holding a cigar. I'm. It's not lit. This is my life. This is my life, bitch. <laughs> Freaking suck it up and watch it. And I'm putting it in my mouth and pretend like I'm sucking on. Well, <laughs> sucking on a cigar. Yeah. F you. Do what the hell I want to do. Vape. Then I vape. Can't oh, really, he's hooked. Can't really smoke in here. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> anything else you want to say about any other conspiracies? Yeah. Anything about the presidential debate? No. Nah. You're hoping for Vivek. I wish he was a little... Str I, what if Viv Vivek? What did you call him? I say Vivek. Because I think that's what, what Sean Ryan said. Probably, yeah. Vivek Ramaswamy. What if he got jacked? What if he started working out? <laughs> got like uh, Kennedy. I don't know. Maybe it's something about... His, his ethnicity, face. right? He like, should grow a beard. Indians, like indie guys from India, seem like nice dudes. <laughs> yeah, and he's got that that college ness about him still. Like he should grow a beard, and he should work out and put on a few pounds. You he know? probably can't grow a beard. Damn, Indians can grow great beards when they're but they're always really old when they get them. It seems like it's true. Does the Dalai Lama have a beard? <laughs> no, I don't think he does. Is he Indian? I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> I just pulled that out of nowhere. Yeah, but I like what he's got to say. I like Vivek Ramaswamy. Okay, I hope tr I'm not going to give away my cards. I don't know who I'm voting for. It's not DeSantis either. anymore. After those debates, DeSantis is out. You can guarantee <laughs> I sure Burgum. as hell. Uh, who? Not Burgum? No. No. He, he might not even make the next debate. I think he needs so many more votes to, like, make it yet. Doug Burgum, if anybody out there, he's he's our, what, senator? He's the representative for North Dakota? Something like that. If Doug, if any of anybody, the three people that watch this podcast, <laughs> if, if you have any mm. way to contact Doug Burgum, tell him he should get on some podcasts. He should start with mm. this one, but he should mm. go on Sean Ryan's, right? Mm. These old people don't understand. Podcasts are the new 
Fox News and the new CNN. Way Br- better. Brigham wants to be popular. He should probably be on BTG, you know? He should be. Get him on BTG squad. We'll grill him. <laughs> we'll get him some notoriety. And, uh... <laughs> I don't know. We'll get him a couple more viewers. Yeah, anyway. we'll get him some more viewers for <laughs> sure. We'll bring light to him. I don't even know what his voice sounds like. That's how he needs to get himself out there. He should be on hey podcast. Guys. I hope he doesn't sound like that. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're an hour in. Yeah, screw you guys. We're out. Screw you guys. <laughs> no, just we appreciate you guys, but screw you for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we got videos. They're floating. They're here. They're here. You'll see them. Subscribe to BTG Squad. Um, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace. What's cooler than that? Well, keep it simple, stupid.